Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is automatically enroll student in Graphi on Instamojo payment. Now suppose guys you are an online educator and you have created an online course using Graphi. And that's a paid course guys. So you are using an online payment gateway just like Instamojo. So you want whenever a new customer sends your payment on your Instamojo account, you receive a payment on your Instamojo account, you want to add that very same customer or same user as a new student in your graphic course or enroll that person in your graphic course. Now the manual process of doing this is very much repetitive and time consuming. So to solve this problem and save your time and efforts, in this video, I came up with an automation by which whenever we will receive a new payment on our Instamojo payment page, automatically the, the customer who made the payment will be enrolled in our course in Graphi. Interesting, right? Now you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can set up this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, we just have to go to a browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name my workflow as Instamojo to Graphi and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we can see two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is, first, we have to get the details or the data of new payments which we are receiving on our Instamojo payment page inside Pavli Connect. Then using Pavli Connect, we will send that very same data to Graphi to add this user into a Graphi account or Graphi school or Graphi course. So here in trigger window, in choose app, we have to search for Instamojo. Instamojo it is. And after that, in trigger event, we will select new sale. So guys, after selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we will connect our Instamojo account with Pavli Connect. So let's copy the webhook URL from here. And now we'll go back to our Instamojo dashboard. So basically you can add this webhook URL to your existing payment page or payment link inside Instamojo account. I will show you by creating a new link. So if you create a new link, just click on this create new we will create a payment link. So click on create link. Then just select smart link over here and we will give this link a name. So for example, I am collecting payment for a PHP course in my Graphi account. So I'll name it as PHP course. PHP course. Then I'll add the pricing as, for example, uh, nine rupees of a pricing just for this video. Click on next, customize this video sorry, customize this link and at this very same page, we have to select smart actions. And after that, select add webhook. And we can see a field asking us for the webhook URL. So the webhook URL, which we have copied from Pavli Connect, we just have to paste this very same webhook URL over here and click on done. So now guys, we can see that we have generated a payment link and that payment link is connected with Pavli Connect using a webhook URL. Now after that, in Pavli Connect, we can see that it is showing us waiting for webhook response, which means Pavli Connect is waiting to get the response or the data of new sale from Instamojo. So we have received the URL of this payment page or payment link. Just copy it, go to Incognito tab and paste it over here. And then we have to basically make a test payment on this payment link. So we will enter the details or the name of a dummy customer. For example, I'll enter the name of the customer as Ashir Singh. This is the email address. And this is the phone number. Click on next. 
Now basically we have to make a test payment over here. So let's make a payment. And the payment is done. Now we can see that we have successfully received a payment on our Instamojo account from a customer named as Ashirai. This is the email address and this is the phone number of that very same customer. Now because we have connected this payment page of our Instamojo payment link of Instamojo with Pavli Connect using a webhook URL, the details or the data of this very same payment will also be captured inside Pavli Connect. So welcome to Pavli Connect. And yes guys, we can see that here in trigger window, we have received a response over here. And this response is of the very same payment which we have just now received or just now made. So in this response, you will see that we have the status of payment which was successful, currency amount and we have the payment ID. But the details of the customer who actually made the payment are missing in this response. So basically using this payment ID, we have to retrieve the details of the customer who made the payment in the next step. So here in help text important note, you can read that. Note that if you need full details corresponding to any transaction ID, then you need to use the Instamojo get payment details event in the next action step. So for to get the details of the customer, we have to scroll down. Come to our action window here in choose app. Once again, search for Instamojo. And then after that, in action event, we have to select get payment details. Click on connect, select add new connection. Now here, once again, we have to connect our Instamojo account with Pavli Connect. But this time we have to use the API key and authentication token of our Instamojo account. So here you must be thinking where we will find the API key and authentication token. So to get these details, you just have to go to the dashboard of your Instamojo account and on the left side, you can see an option named as API and plugins. By clicking on this, you will get the API key and authentication token of your own Instamojo account. Just copy those details from there and paste it over here and click on save to make the connection. I have already made the connection. So I will click on select existing connection and click on save. And guys, you can see that the connection between Instamojo and Pavli Connect is now successfully completed. Then after that, it is asking us the payment ID that for which payment ID we want to get the details from. So we have received the payment ID of the transaction in our trigger response from Instamojo inside Pavli Connect. So basically we have to map this very same payment ID over here in this payment ID field. And the process of mapping is very simple guys. Simply just click on this field. And in the drop down below, you can see all the responses which we have received from Instamojo can be seen over here. And out of all these responses, select the response for payment ID. Just map it and click on save and send test request. Now after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And in this response, we will find all the details of the customer who actually made the payment. Like we have the name of the customer, Asha Singh, the phone number and the email address. The very same details which the customer has entered while making the payment. So basically step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully received the details or the data of the customer who actually made the payment on our Instamojo account inside Pavli Connect. Now we want to add or send this very same details to Graphy so that we can add or enroll this customer into a Graphy course. For that, we will scroll down on and click on this add action step button. And here in choose app, we will search for Graphy. Graphy it is. After that in action event, we will select enroll learner to course. But before that, we have to create this user as a new learner or a new student inside Graphy. So we will select create learner. Click on connect, select add new connection. Now guys, we have to enter the API key and subdomain of our Graphy account to make the connection. Now you must be thinking how we are going to get the API key. So to get the API key, go to the dashboard of your Graphy account, scroll down and go to settings over here, sorry, integrations over here. And after that, click on third party. After clicking on third party at this very same page, we have to scroll down and come to Pavli Connect. So here we can see there is Pavli Connect. And after reaching to this Pavli Connect option in your Graphy account, this is the API key for of our Graphy account. So just copy this from here, go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. After that, it is asking us for the subdomain. So to get the subdomain of our Graphy account, just go to the Graphy account and in URL section, you can see after slash and before dots pay, this is the subdomain of our Graphy account. 
So just copy this Graphy account subdomain from here, go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here and click on connect. And you will see that the connection between Graphy and Pavli Connect is successfully completed. After that, it is asking us email address, full name, mobile and password of the person to whom we want to add in our Graphy account. So basically these are the, all, the, all the details which we have received or retrieved from Instamojo in our second step. So we have the name of the customer who made the payment, the mobile number and email address. So we will map these very same details over here. And the process of mapping as we saw is very simple. We will simply click here and from the drop down below from Instamojo get payment details action event, we will map the email address of the customer who made the payment over here in the email field. After that for full name, we will follow the very same process. Just map the full name and mobile number as well. Now the field of password is not mandatory, is not required. So we will ignore this field and click on save and send test request. So after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that Ashirai, the customer who made the payment on our Instamojo payment page is now successfully added as a new student in our Graphy account. So let's just check this. We'll go to our Graphy account, go to the users section and click on learners. And here we can find that Ashirai is now successfully added as a new student in our Graphy account or Graphy school. So guys, the step two of setting up this all automation is also completed. We have successfully added this person who actually made the payment on our Instamojo payment page as a student in our Graphy account. Now the third and the final step is we have to enroll this very same user into a course for which the customer made the payment. So for that, we'll get back to Pavli Connect, scroll down and click on this add action step button. And here in choose app, we will search for Graphy once again. Graphy it is. And this time the action event will be enroll learner to course. Just select this action event, click on connect. And because we have connected our Graphy account with Pavli Connect in just previous step, we don't have to make the connection once again. You can click on this select existing connection, select the latest connection from the drop down, and click on save. And you will find that your Graphy account is once again connected with Pavli Connect. After that, it is asking us email and course page name. So guys, we have to enter the email address of the student to whom we want to enroll into a course. So we have received the email address over here after adding that person, that customer as a student in our Graphy account. So we will basically map this very same email address over here. Just click on this and from the drop down below map the email address. Then it is asking us for the course name. So we have to enter the name of the course in which we want to enroll this user. So to actually get the name of the course, which you have to enter over here, go to the your Graphy account, then go to content and go to courses. Select the course in which you want to enroll. So I want to enroll this user in this PHP for beginners course. Just click on it. And after reaching this information page, click on pages. And here you will find the name of the course under course page URL. Just copy this name from here, go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. So you can find this very, very same steps over here in the help text below. So after entering the email address and course page name over here, just click on save and send test request. And after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that this student, student with this email address is not successfully enrolled in this course PHP for business. So let's just check it. We will go back to our Graphy account, go to the course section, courses, this was the course we will select and go to the learners section. And yes, guys, we can see that Ashirai, the very same user, the very same customer who actually made the payment on our Instamojo account is now successfully enrolled in our Graphy course. So guys, the automation which we have created in this video, we saw that this automation is working perfectly fine. Whenever we will receive a new payment on our Instamojo account, using this automation, the customer who actually made the payment will be automatically added as a student in our Graphy school or Graphy account and also enrolled into a course which we will select. So guys, after setting up this automation, we have to test this automation once again. So once again, we will copy the link of the payment page which we have created. So this was the payment link. 
go to incognito tab and this time we will enter the email address or the details of a new user. For example, the name of the person should be Harsha Kapoor. Let's enter the email address once again. This time a different email address, I guess, and a phone number. Click on next. Now let's once again make a payment over here. And the payment is done. Now once again from Harsha Singh, a customer named as Harsha Singh has made the payment on our Instamojo account. Now because we have created this automation, we will see that this very same customer will be get added in our NP account as a new student and also will get enrolled in our Graphi course. So let's just check this. We will minimize these tabs. Go to our Graphi account and this is the learners page of our Graphi course which we have selected. Let's refresh it. And yes guys, we can see that Harsha Kapoor, the very same user who actually made the payment on our Instamojo payment page just now, is now successfully created as a student in our Graphi account and also get enrolled in our Graphi course as well. So guys, we have tested this automation in real time that the automation which we have created is working perfectly fine. Now let's just get back to Pavli Connect once and let's see that what are the actual steps that we followed while setting up this automation. So first, we have connected our Instamojo account with Pavli Connect using a webhook URL. Then after that, we made a test payment, a dummy payment on our Instamojo account so that we can retrieve or get the data of new payment from Instamojo inside Pavli Connect. Then in next step, we have retrieved the payment details of the customer who actually made the payment using Instamojo get payment details action event. After getting the details of the user, we have sent that data to Graphi so that we can enroll or add that user as a new learner in our Graphi account. And after that, in the next step, we have also enrolled that very same person, very same customer into a Graphi course. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.